Hi, I'm Michelle Trandube, a medicinal chemist, discovering and synthesizing new medicines advisor. So today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the science behind glow sticks. So as you know, glow sticks are very popular during Halloween and at theme parks. But did you also know that they're used as safety devices, maybe to light a dark pathway or to try to attract attention with emergency crew members. Sometimes you might see them packaged like this as safety light sticks. And they are the same as what I just was holding. So, but how do these glow sticks actually work? Well, it's a chemical reaction called chemiluminescence. And what that is, is just the emission of light without producing heat. So I wanted to show you a little bit inside um, of this glow stick. So there's a clear liquid and there's a liquid inside which is encapsulated in a glass tube and that's phenyl oxalate and a dye. It's the dye that makes it colored. So what I did in, in the safety of a lab, so please don't try this at home, but in the lab, what I did is I, I opened the bottom of this glow stick and I poured out the clear liquid. This clear liquid is hydrogen peroxide and the inside liquid, which is encapsulated as a in a glass tube is phenyl oxalate and the dye. So this is a pink dye. And so let me just tell you a little bit about this reaction. So when the phenyl oxalate and the hydrogen peroxide come together, that's when you break the, the, the glow stick. When they come together, they form peroxy acid ester and they release phenol, which doesn't do anything um, in this reaction. But the peroxy acid ester is unstable and it breaks down and forms cyclic dione and releases another phenol molecule. But the cyclic dione is also unstable and breaks down to CO2, which we know is carbon dioxide and releases energy. And so this energy is actually absorbed by the dye. So the dye is a uh, anthracene derivative and this dye which absorbs this energy is excited to another higher state. And as it relaxes back down, it emits photons of light. So that's the glow that you see. This reaction is very, very fast. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about the dyes too. There's a lot of dyes out there. There's blue, red, green, and they're all coming from a very similar derivative molecule called anthracene. So let's break a few so you can see how this reaction works. So here is a pink uh, uh, glow stick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack open the glass tube in the middle by bending the, uh, the glow stick and shaking it up. By shaking it up, you're combining these two liquids. As you can see, it's super bright. Let's try another one. Um, this fluorescent green, crack it. You can hear that crack. You're breaking the, 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 the glass again and you're shaking it up. And here is your fluorescent green and your fluorescent pink. So a couple tips for you. Tip number one, if you want these to um, glow the next day, what you wanna do is put these in the freezer. And what that does is it stops or minimizes the molecules from interacting with each other because it's in a colder environment and that'll just um, prolong the glow time. But if you want these sticks to glow even brighter, what you want to do is dip them in some warm water. And what that does, it makes the molecules move very, very quickly and releasing more energy. And so it'll glow very bright, however, in a shorter period of time. So I hope you enjoyed the science of glow sticks. And please be safe when you use them. Stay tuned to the next Bite Size Science.